Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokegame here. Today we have another Pokemon Legends Arceus competitive breakdown of Hisui and Gudra. Now I just want to say I know that Legends Arceus does not have competitive Pokemon, but in this video we'll be talking about Gudra from a competitive aspect, but looking forward towards Gen 9 or whatever game this Pokemon will eventually be allowed uh, to be played in. So if you guys do enjoy these type of videos, make sure you leave a like. Also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm on my way to 300k. That's my end of the year goal. And I do want to know your thoughts on Hisui and Gujar. Do you like it more? Do you like it less? What do you think about its insane typing? Because it's Dialga. And obviously Duraludon as well, but that's not as crazy to compare it to, you right? It's Dialga is the big one that you want to compare this one to. But yeah, let's get right into this. So first off, the immediate thing we notice is that normal Gudra is obviously Dragon, but this one is Steel and Dragon. Which means that this Pokemon has an immunity not a poison, and it's resistant to normal, flying, rock, bug, steel, and then obviously it already had the resistances to water. It has a four times resistance now to grass before it had a two times. Uh, and it's still resistant to electric, and obviously it also gains a resistance to psychic. So it's only weak now to uh, two types. So it's weak to fighting and ground, as before it was weak to, what was it, fairy, dragon, and ice. So it's basically um, added on a million resistances with this. And the thing that's different from this one and like Duraludon and more comparable to Dialga is that this Pokemon actually has the stats to use these resistances, right? So if we actually look at its stats... It has 80 base HP, so it, does, it did go down from 90 base HP to 80 base HP. Now, normally that would matter a lot for a Pokemon if they did not give it 30 more points in defense. And uh, obviously it has the same base special attack, 110, 150, and they gave it 60 speed instead of 80. Now, I do think the 60 speed instead of 80 is a bigger change than the overall change for this Pokemon itself. And we'll get into that in a little bit. But Steel Dragon, great. And again, if you compare it to like... Duraludon, while Duraludon obviously had pretty solid, you know, great defense, great special attack, great speed tier, I think for this type of Pokemon. The 50 special defense really did not let it make use of the fact that it's a dragon type that can take fairy moves, right? Like this thing comes in a Clefable and a, a, a neutral Moonblast is to a KOE, you know what I mean? So it's not really able to take advantage of the fact that, yeah, dragon is no longer super effective. Who cares when Draco Meteor still kills you, you know? Whereas this Gudra is more comparable to this Pokemon right here because this Pokemon can eat like Draco Meteors from Opposing Dialga and Spacer Rents from Palkia and Ubers and things like that, right? But, and this Gudra can do very similar, especially because it has more special defense. You know, you go 100, 100 versus 80, 150, that it still ends up taking hits better uh, because of that huge buff. In special defense so that's already a big thing for it now i'm loving that i'm loving its defensive and offensive capabilities and we'll get into that in just a moment but first let's talk about its abilities so same abilities uh as far as we've seen though we did see uh hydration change to overcoat i would have actually liked to see hydration on this one in particular because imagine this on rain teams which is being able to go for rest and getting back up to full with a pokemon that resists everything for rain teams right what are rain teams weak to they're weak to rillable resisted I mean, you have Sap Zipper on this thing, but we'll talk about that in a second. There we to a large type attacks, resisted, right? So it's just able, and they're weak, uh, they're just in general to grass, obviously, but like, yeah, so it's, it's just able to take those. Also, obviously, it, it tanks freeze dry pretty, pretty well from Pokemon, too. And it can also take the rain boosted attacks from other Pokemon as well. So, yep. Yeah. So we have the Overcoat, Sap Sipper, and Gooey. I think the main ones are going to be uh, Sap Sipper. Now, people were like, well, I mean, it already resists grass. Why do you want Sap Sipper? First off, there is a huge difference between uh, resisting grass and and then uh, being immune straight up to it and getting an attack raise out of it. I think the best ability is Sap Sipper. Rillaboom a problem? Switch into this thing. Obviously, you have to worry about the, uh, the super power, high horsepower sets, whatever, but... Switch in on it, get a plus one attack raise for free. I think the bigger things is in terms of defensive capability besides Rillaboom, switching in a Leech Seed from Ferrothorn. You resist every uh, move from Ferrothorn besides uh, Body Press, and you not only do that, but I mean, you threaten it with a Flamethrower, which you do learn. You do learn both regular Gudra as well as this thing does learn Flamethrower uh, via uh, Move Tutors, uh, and I'm sure TMs in the future as well. So that's a pretty big thing for this Pokemon too. Um, a few other things that this mon can end up doing. I just want to look at something just to see if it learned that. Nope. Uh, but yeah. So being able to threaten that, I think it's really cool. Switching in on Spore as well from Amoongus, Breloom. Obviously, Breloom threatens you. And now that you're 60 base speed, uh, you're <laughs> you're definitely less of an answer to Breloom. Because Breloom will be faster than you unless they're not running Jolly. So that's one thing to keep in mind. 
But I think that Sap Serve is overall better than Overcoat. For one, your Steel type, so uh, Sandstorm doesn't hit you. Uh, being immune to powder moves is basically almost the same thing, right? Sap Serve makes you immune to, uh, immune to Spore and Sleep Powder, and obviously you're immune to Poison Powder anyway. Uh, and Hail is not that big of a thing that you need to not worry about taking the extra 6%. So overall, I would say Sap Sipper is the best thing because you go from having one poison immunity to two immunities on this Pokemon, being grass and also getting the attack raise. So Sap Sipper I think is best. Uh, not only that, but being Steel Dragon, previously Gudra could threaten Fairy types with Sludge Bomb. Now you weren't doing a million amount of damage, but if you were Specs, you were 2 a KOing, right? You were at least 2 a KOing. And uh, the only Mon that could like not be two KO that was Fairy in lower tiers was like Deancey, but even then you had Surf or Hydro Pump to be able to two KO that as well. So, and I say two KO because that Mon will be eating up the uh, the Specs Hydros as well. Like it does not care. But yep. So that's a big thing as well. Now it has the Steel typing to actually take advantage of Fairies, and because of it's 150 uh, Special Defense, it's 100 Defense, it can actually t and, and take Fairy moves anyway. Right? Like this mod, it wasn't already doing, dying to Moonblast from uh, Lele, but a Spec Psy Shock could put it down after a little bit of damage. Now it resists that too. Obviously, Focus Blast is super effective, but that shouldn't matter too much because Gudra has the 150 special defense. So this just makes it overall better versus fairies. It makes it better versus dragons. It makes it better versus psychic types. And it's such a cool thing for this Pokemon. I think the, the, the biggest drawback, like I said, is that 60 base speed tier. It really sucks that it is like speed time with Clef. I would have loved if it would have been able to keep the 80 base speed tier because that would have made it faster uh, than Breloom, which is a big thing. Also would have made it faster than Heatran, which I think is a big thing too. But I'll definitely take the trade of more defense over that any day because this Pokemon can excel at not only, you know, more offensive sets, and we're going to go into the move pool in a sec, but more offensive sets. Obviously, you know, you have Flamethrower, uh, Draco Meteor, uh, Flash Cannon, potentially, although we do also see Iron Head on, and Iron Tail on its move pool too. Uh, as you guys will see, this, don't worry about this, this is just taking Gujra's move pool. And then your last move could be like anything, it could be Hydro Pump if you really wanted to, it could be Earthquake, it could be Run Mix, doesn't matter. Right, this mod can easily excel at specs. I think another one that's going to be amazing for is Assault Vest, right? You worried about Lele and you don't want to use Regenerator Pivots, you can use this while also checking Rillaboom and things like that too. So I think Assault Vest is going to be really good. I think defensive sets with Leftovers are going to be really good. And speaking of defensive sets, let's actually look at a signature move. Or, no, I don't know if it's a signature move. I'd like to say signature move because it's the first Pokemon I saw with it. That doesn't mean it's a signature move. <laughs> so it is actually, by definition, the wrong term. But, one of the big things this Pokemon has is Shelter. Now, Shelter is a Steel-type move. Let me read this for you, and I need you guys to understand how crazy this move is. The user makes its stats as uh, its its skin as hard as possible as an iron shield, raising its defensive stats. So its defensive stats raise, right? Physical defense, special defense, raise. Incoming moves also become more likely to miss. Now, in this game, we have obscurity. We don't have uh, evasion. It's called Pokemon became more obscure, but it's like the same thing. It's basically evasion. So not only this is raising your defenses, but it raises your evasion. Now, in competitive singles, uh, moves that boost your evasion are banned. I can technically go for moves like Mud Slap and stuff and Flash because they are lowering my opponent's evasion, but I cannot go for Minimize or Double Team in competitive 6v6 singles. I'm going to make that clear. This is definitely possible in VGC. This is definitely possible in Battle Spot uh, or Battle Stadium singles 3v3. Um, so this just seems really, really, really crazy, right? Because you're already a Pokemon with a million resists, but to be able to go for Shelter, not only raise your defenses, but also raise your evasion at the same time, this is a move that probably ends up getting banned. Uh, just the move itself. I know they don't like to do complex bands, but considering it's one of the Pokemon with this, let me look at it real quick. Yep, it's one of the three Pokemon with it. They probably end up banning it. Um, I don't think they would actually ban the Pokemon itself, because this is an instance where the move itself is just broken, but the Pokemon's fine. But who knows? Who actually knows? Uh, I think it's also completely different than banning like Hyperspace Fury on Hoopa, okay? Or Hoopa Unbound. I think it's completely different than that, and I'll go into that in a little bit, but... Um, or like banning Icicle Crash on Dar Galarian Darmanton. I think it's completely different. This move in itself is just... It's, it's, it's not as complex as it seems, in my opinion. But yeah, so we have Shelter, which is already incredible, right? We obviously have Iron Head right there. We have Hydro Pump and a Move Pool. We have the Elemental Punches, but we also have the, the better versions of them, which are the Special Attacks, uh, which are great. And uh, the one move I don't see here is Flash Cannon, but we do see Steel Beam, which could be used on Specs. Obviously, we have the Ice Beam and stuff, too. And that's cool, too, because, I mean, naturally, with your 100 base defense, yeah, you're weak to Lanterns now, but... I mean, we could just run a simple calc if you guys would like to see. So, Gudra, let's just go RU Choice Specs. You are 80, you are 100, and you are Steel. So, let's just put Steel. Uh, let's just put Landers. Let's just put OU Choice Scarf as well. Uh, so, this Pokemon knocks you out, period. My God. 
Lanners is strong. But there's no way. No way. Really? Even without an investment. Like without any investment. What well, about max HP? My god. Alright, so I mean, that's a big thing, obviously, being able to do that. But you just pair this thing with uh, Rillaboom or something, too. And they actually pair really nicely together because everything Rillaboom is weak to, this guy can either resist or take neutral of. And it appreciates the fact that Rillaboom's Grass Terrain weakens Earthquake. That's crazy. That, that does that much. But I mean, offensive Lanners is strong and defensive Lanners is strong, too. I was honestly expecting, like, this roll, but on from max attack. So I, I'm, I'm way off. But then again, I was also thinking about, like, imagine you have this, right? So imagine your max attack. I'm 97 and 114. I'm max HP. I got my plus one defense from shelter. There you go. That's what I'm thinking. So I got my shelter boost. Not only that, but there's a chance Earthquake misses. Not only that, let's get a grassy terrain too, just because I decided to pair it with Rillaboom. 32, 39%. You know what I mean? So like, this mod has a lot. It would have too much potential with that. And you can miss that. Shelter's too good. Shelter's too good. But yeah. So obviously, uh, I think it's a fair trade. I think the ability to take on... Um, I think the ability to still take on like... You know, let's go to a really strong dragon type. This is Ladio's Choice Spectrical Meteor. 61. Oh, I didn't even raise yet. Yeah, I didn't even raise the special notes. Max HP, 61 to 72%. Not bad. Let's go to Tapu Lele Choice Specs. Focus Blast, 75 to 89. This is timid. Still fine. Doesn't KO. I could easily run Assault Vest on this guy, too. Let's do Assault Vest. There we go. 50 to 59. Side Shock does 23 to 27. Moon Blast does 29 to 35. And uh, let's just go. I don't know. Um, Let's go brave for the sake of going brave, but I don't mean to go brave here. Let's see how much Iron Head does. Show sure, the like, 80, yeah, 85 to 101 with uh, just no attack investment. But I don't think you go brave. I think you go like, if anything, you probably go quiet nature. But if you go quiet nature, 77, uh, 92. And let's see if it does learn Flash Cannon. I don't know if it will learn Flash Cannon, but if it does eventually get it, yeah, 81 to 95. So it's not like, that's not bad, right? It's not bad. Um, it's still good offensively. Obviously, the weaknesses, you got to be careful around those. Uh, make sure you know your calc. I haven't used the Pokemon, so I wouldn't be able to tell you a head calc on it. But uh, yeah, I think Shelter would be too much for it. I think another thing this opens up as well is a Violet Sligu. So a Violet Sligu is something that was already lose, right? Sligu. So let's look at regular Sligu. Regular Sligu has fine stats, right? 113 special defense, 83 special attack. Now, Sligu <laughs> uh has less HP, but has gained more defense and has gained more... Um, has gained more defense and uh, overall it's gained more resistances, right? So like one set that Sligu actually ran sometimes was Curse. And I, 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 honestly, I just do still physically defensive Curse, like special defensive you don't need to, especially with those resistances and the fact that you're going to have uh, this. So like, whoops, impish. So one set that Sligu ran was like Curse, Rest, Sleep Talk, Outrage. Now obviously fairy types are a thing, so you can do that with Iron Head. Uh, assuming this mon learns Iron Head too. Let's look at Sligu real quick. The shiny is kind of disappointing. I'll be re real, but it is what it is. Yep, still learns Iron Head. Gets Shelter as well. So like, there's a lot that can be done with this Pokemon. I think it opens up that mon a lot. I think as a special attacker, it still opens it up as well. And just as lower tiers, you know, you'll be able to check your fairies while still threatening them. Uh, one thing that's uh, nasty in lower tiers: Specs X Cloud, right? Resisted Boom Burst, resisted, especially with the Violet. Oof. And special defense if I want to. Resisted Boom Burst. Um, flamethrower Neutral. It could have Focus Blast. Focus Blast ain't going to kill. Type of thing. So like uh, a defensive set like this. Even a spec set. Slow Snail could do something like that. Uh, but yeah. I think that this adds so much defensive utility. I think that subsets sound pretty cool too. Because you're obviously going to be scaring out fairies. And by going for substitute. Something like Toxabex will never be able to break your sub. So even like. Let's say something like this. Let's say your set was. Sub. Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, uh, whatever your last move is, right? Like, this will, this will be, you'll get the free sub on Ferrothorn, you get the free sub on Toxapex, they can't Toxic you anyway. I think that's a big thing, too. Like, you can use Setup on this Gudra, which is something that Gudra doesn't typically use. You can use Setup on this Gudra and actually try and sweep with it as well. It gets Acid Armor, too. So, I don't know if Gudra gets Body Press, but uh, that's something that Duraludon gets. I don't see body press here, obviously, but... Oh, it does! Awesome! All right, so we get body press right here. So uh, this is something I ran on Duraludon as well. It's a success, uh, which is Iron Defense, uh, Body Press, Sub, Flash Cannon, and Gudra can do the exact same thing as well, and that will allow it to, even with a physical set, break, or a special set, technically, break through Blissey, break through anything like that. So 
I think this Pokemon has insane amounts of potential just because of that. And while it did add two pretty common weaknesses because ground is one of the most common types, right? If you just look at the random OU tier right here that can use ground type attacks. Uh, Buzzle can sometimes use Earthquake. You have Dragonite Earthquake. Garchomp obviously has Stab Earthquake and Paladon. Landorus obviously. Melmetal. Um, and then there's there's not a lot left, but those are still really common. And then fighting is also pretty common as well. Zero uses close combat. Weavile can use low kick, but I don't know how much that does to this guy. Uh, Urshifu obviously CCs. Oh, Tremantar can also use Earthquake, excuse me. Um, Scizor can super power, Rhythm can super power type of thing. Like Melmetal can super power, Kartana Sacred Swords. Um, yeah, so like that's Buzzwell can close combat, etc. So, and Barrascooter can close combat as well. So like these are very, very common typings, but I feel like the, the, the pros of all the millions of resistances and your insane move pool with the ability to um the ability to actually take advantage of it i think it's so sick as well i, I think that's just crazy for this mod and i'm excited to see how it how it ends up changing also i have a shiny in pokemon legends Arceus, which is pretty cool but like it's not like the coolest shiny at the end of the day but yeah, let me know your guys thoughts on that i want to look at one more thing just to see if gumi gumi gets anything cool body slam Counter is interesting too. Toxic as well can be uh, something too because obviously Toxic's not in the, the game as much in your Pokemon. Like you can't get it on certain mods. Uh, but you just take them from home. If I have a Gumi with Toxic from Pokemon Home, I transfer that into the future game and be able to use that. But yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Obviously, uh, what do you guys think about competitive Gudra as a whole? Like this Gudra. I still think Sap Zipper is 110% the best ability to run on this mod. Like there's, I think there's no reason to run... Uh, overcoat specifically especially because there's not like an infinite amount of hail turns maybe if it was back in the day and then if it was like back in the day with infinite hail, hail turns like arts results already really good in OU but if it was like back in the day then obviously I think that'd be something worth but yeah once again let me know your thoughts subscribe if you guys want and I will see you guys next time peace